Do I need to be a product junkie to go natural? So today I'm going to be showing you guys my products that I've used from beginning this journey to right now, which is one year and I think is going to be one month now? A year and one month? Yeah. So I'm going to go by categories. Now the first shampoo that I used, it was actually the Ors. I used the Ors shampoo and conditioner, but when I ran out of that, I started using the Kirkland Signature Moisture Shampoo, and it's just this big old bottle. I still haven't even finished it. But now I just mostly use it for any extensions or extra hairs that I need to wash with. But I use that product from, I think, zero to three months. Around that was the time that I used it. When I was it. six months, I started going for curly natural products or hair that, or products that natural curly hair people use. So this one is the Cream of Nature Professional Argan Oil with Morocco Sulfate Free Shampoo. And that is a mouthful, but I do really like it. It doesn't dry my hair out. Like this is the one that I use like mostly every time that I have to wash my hair. So I give, I rate it a high, high number, high number. The last shampoo that I ended up buying again was, um, is from the Argan and Macadamia line from Kiss. This one is kind of 50-50 with maybe, maybe not even, that's a little too generous. Um, now when I was researching which product that I wanted to buy, I saw a lot of good reviews about this, especially on like YouTube community. Like a lot of people were saying that it was really nice and it said that it cleaned their scalp really well without drying it. And I was just like, that's exactly the type of product that I wanted to get. So I bought it and I used it. And the first time I didn't really like it, but then the second time, um, I figured that like, it really cleaned my scalp. Like I love the feeling of the clean scalp you know you know that feeling like just that clean scalp feeling is just so amazing but it did dry my hair up a little bit not even a little bit it it dried up my hair adios it dried up my hair a lot so i realized that because i bought it and because i'm not gonna be wasting my money i'm still gonna use a product i will just use it whenever i feel like i have a lot of build up on my scalp and i mean it still worked like it worked for me it's just not something that i want to use every single wash day that's honestly all that i have for shampoos from like, zero to where i am now like months that's all the shampoos that i use like you really don't need six different type of shampoos i mean if you have money and you have the option option and like opportunity to do it like go ahead like i applaud you go try all those new products out but i don't even have a job i have to rely on my mom buying me so products. when you find a product that you really like and it works for you i just don't feel the need to go out and keep buying those products like more and more to try out but that's just me on to the next category i have is conditioners now i had Another one that I don't have with me right now, but it was, I'll try to insert a picture. So Patricia, insert a picture. But yeah, I used that one again from like zero to three months. It worked fine. Um, maybe it was even a little longer, maybe zero to six. Um, I had to change it just because it ran out and I needed a new conditioner. So I thought that I'd try something new. Now I did want to go with the Ors conditioner, but I just thought that, you know, I wanted to try something that was, I wanted to try something new. So I went with the Kiss line. Now I will say I personally like thick conditioners better, but this one, you know, it works, it works fine. Um, will I be buying it again? Probably not, but it's, it's been working for me. So that's all i can say for it now going on to deep conditioners i have again from the kiss line the argan and macadamia for dry and damaged hair this is a mask this is the one that i used from six months not even i bought this recently so actually i'll say maybe 11 months to 12 months <laughs> guys 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 if there's one product out of this line that I love the most is this deep conditioner like it just 
it just sinks into your hair cuticles. I, I will buy this again and 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 again. Two hours later. And again, because I just love it. It's it's so great. But I really, really like it. It's really thick. It just it my hair absorbs everything and it's so free free. So that's just that's just a plus. Now before that, from I'll say from till the from the time that I bought it, so from like eleven months. And way before that, maybe maybe six months, so from six months to 11 months, I was using the 3 Minute Moisture Deep Conditioner by Ozzy. <sighs> now, I might get a little backlash from this because I know a lot of people in the curly hair community really like this product. My sister, um, she's the one that said that I should use it. And just a whole bunch of people said that this was their lifesaver but i don't i don't like it it doesn't work with my hair it sits on top of it and my hair doesn't absorb any of it like it just sits straight on top and i'm not my hair isn't able to get any of the moisture and so i ended up having to change it i bought a two pack of these like this one is completely filled up i mean i don't even know what i'm gonna do with this i might give this to my sister the other one that i used was the ever ego i think it was like garlic vitamin a something something deep conditioner but I used that one and I also liked it but I don't know I guess I guess it was good but I know that it really worked with my relaxed hair I liked it and it didn't have a smell like it didn't smell like garlic at all but I think my hair liked it I mean it didn't dislike it either but those were the three products that I used next product that I have are my leave-in conditioners <clears throat> Now, as you can tell by this bottle, it was heavily used. It was used a lot. Now, my sister, she actually was the one who had bought this and used it. I had it when it was about like maybe halfway and then I used the rest of it. <laughs> but I mean, I don't even think you can read this. Basically, it's the cream of nature with argan oil from Morocco strength leave-in conditioner. Now, this is the same line as the shampoo that I have, but it's in leave-in conditioner. form i guess you can say um i think i liked it i think it's protein based so i learned that i shouldn't use it all the time but i used that until it was finished i don't really have much to say about it i mean it was a leave-in conditioner nothing special um, after that that was from like maybe three to six months but from there i ended up switching between these two they're both from ors actually no this one is ors and this one is oh wait are they the same okay none of them are ors <laughs> this one is Africa's Best and this one is African Pride. They're both olive oil leave-in conditioners. Um, I'll have to say that I probably use this one more, but if I don't find this one, then I use this one. I think they both work the same. They're all water-based, so that's why I use it. Okay, on to the next product. Now this is a shocker because I only have one of these, but I'm still using it. I have been using this since like six I've been using this for about six months now and mind you my sister was the one who had bought it so when she gave it to me it was about maybe a little bit over halfway filled and I still have a pretty good amount to go but I said this in my other video um she gave me a buttercream daily moisturizer by thank god it's natural tgin and I really love this product I think that without this I don't think it would still be natural or going natural at this point so i'm really really glad that my sister was able to give this to me and i've just been using it since next product are my oils first thing that i had started using this was like maybe zero yeah from zero to six months six months was kind of like the point where i switched from just regular brands to curly hair products that is popular i guess so I was just using this coconut milk. Now I will say I still sometimes use this because it just makes my hair really shiny. But it didn't really do anything. I won't really say that it moisturized my hair. So that's what I had used. Then next from like 
three to six months, I focused more on the organic coconut oil. Now I will say, I just, I just don't think that coconut oil really complements with my hair because my hair never really like absorbed it. And actually it would be, there would be clumps that were left in my hair. So I didn't really like it. That's why it's still, that's why it's still happening. After but. that, I ended up using, this is actually a Jersey Mike's bottle, but I put in like these, it's a homemade oil, I guess. I just put in a whole bunch of different oils. I think there's like black castor oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, all the oils that you can think of. It's probably in here. But I use this especially for like hot oil treatments and like before I shampooed my hair as like a pre-poo. But I don't know. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how much time I have during the day or if I remember to put it. As of now, I'm using the Ors Hair Repair Coconut Oil and Bahoba Oil. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's Vital Oils. It's for dry and damaged hair. The results. Oh my god, my hair was so soft. It's still so soft and so shiny. Like, I put this on top of my moisturizer so like I could seal it in and amazing. Oh. Now for the last product, this video is almost over. I'm kind of sad. Eco Style Gel. And I think the Eco Styler is probably one of the most popular styling gels that there is. But I know that there's different ones. So they have the or I can't talk. I have the Argan Oil one. It's the, it's the one with the red cap. But I use this one. I'm actually, I'm finished with it. In this quarantine, I haven't been able to buy anything. So I'm just going to use it until there's no more left. I will say as time went on, um, it started to put in more flakes, especially like after the day was over, I'd find flakes on the my edges and just like all over my hair. And like I'd have to comb it out. All these products that I have, they all worked for me at one point. I will say the only thing that didn't was the Aussie deep conditioner but at one point all these products worked for me i only changed out of it once like i either ran out or it just wasn't working for me anymore so that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next catch you guys next time bye